Arizona's Secretary of State said over the weekend that threats against election officials are an act of domestic terrorism. According to a recent survey by the Brennan Center, 38 percent of local election officials nationwide said they've experienced threats or harassment for doing their job. Concerns over security threats during the 2024 election even prompted Arizona to hold active shooter drills earlier this year and send kits, including tourniquets and barricades, to election offices. The state saw an increase in the number of threats to election officials following the 2020 election. Arizona was one of the key states where allies of Donald Trump repeatedly pushed false claims of widespread voter fraud, rhetoric that continues despite evidence to the contrary. We have an entire election law system that people challenge elections. Elections get overturned. Voter fraud gets proven. That happens all the time. And the media... CBS News election law contributor David Becker joins me now. So, David, let's uh, just on the question, basic question, how often does voter fraud happen in a way that might actually cause an election to change the result? Yeah, John, this is very knowable. We know this because it's investigated all the time. And the answer is that it's extremely rare. And when it does occur, and it's happened rarely, it happened in the last few years in Bridgeport, Connecticut, and a few years before that in North Carolina, it's discovered all the time. And it's, an, it's prosecuted. Those people go to jail if they commit voter fraud. But we don't have an instance where we found voter fraud on a scale that would have changed the outcome of a statewide or federal election. We sit here three and a half years now since the 2020 election. That election has, been, has withstood more scrutiny than any election in American history. Dozens of cases challenging the results, defamation cases where Fox paid, settled it for almost $800 million, where Rudy Giuliani was held liable for $150 million, where Kerry Lake in Arizona spread lies about the election and has conceded liability. Every time that anyone who has claimed fraud has had to put up or shut up in a court of law and put their evidence up to scrutiny and cross-examination, they've failed to do so. Imagine you were a person who was still, despite everything you've just said, really worried about fraud. Uh, but you also knew that unfounded claims of fraud were equally dangerous. We saw what happened on January 6th. So how would you answer a question to someone who said, uh, what if there's fraud in the 2024 election? Well, I'd say that we have better protections against fraud or even mistakes in an election than we've ever had in American history. Our elections are more transparent, verified, and secure today and in 2020 than they have ever been. And there are tangible reasons for that. Our voter lists are more accurate than they've ever been. We require that every single registered voter provide ID when they register to vote. Usually ID that is then checked against the Motor Vehicles Agency or the Social Security Administration to make sure they're eligible voters and they are who they say they are. They are checking that information, states are, to make sure that information is accurate, even as voters move and they die. We have more paper ballots than ever before in American history. 95 plus percent of all Americans are going to vote on paper ballots in 2024. That's more than ever. And that includes everybody in every single battleground state. And those paper ballots are audited to make sure that even if the voting machines malfunction or were tampered with in some way and they are not connected to the Internet, but they could malfunction, that we will get the right counts. And we have not found any problems with that whatsoever. We have more pre-election litigation that confirms the rules of the election in advance of the election. That's a good thing. And then we, of course, have seen more post-election litigation than ever before that confirms the results. So right now, American citizens should be very, very confident in their elections. But unfortunately, as you noted, there are people spreading lies about those elections, intending to seed the ground for perhaps claiming an election was stolen after they've lost. And staying on that point, going into the 2024 election, what are some of the weak spots in the system, which is different? Well, I guess what I would say is, what are some of the biggest challenges that you're concerned about that are threatening the ability to have a free and fair democratic election? Well, one thing I'm not worried about is whether the election will actually be run well. We've actually seen since 2020. Remember, we held the we had the highest turnout in American history in the middle of a global pandemic with all of the lies being spread about the election. And that election has withstood all this scrutiny. It's an incredible success story in American democracy. But since then, in 2021, 2022, 2023, and even into the primaries here in 2024, um, election officials, even with all of the turnover and the threats and harassment that you noted, 
they have performed. We have had really good elections. So if voters decide to participate in the 2024 elections, and I certainly hope that they do, regardless of who they support, they're going to find a convenient, safe, and secure system. The problem areas are really what lies might be spread after that election is over by the losing candidates and how those lies might incite supporters of the losing candidate to anger and even potentially violence in that period of time between the election and Inauguration Day on January 20th. David Becker, thank you, as always. Thank you, John.